guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video we are gonna be running some errands and I thought that I would bring you guys with me I know a lot of my videos lately have been me running all over the place and taking you guys along kind of vlog style I hope that's okay I always have tons of errands to run or something related to my animals that needs to be done so I love bringing you guys along kind of just keeping you guys up to date with what I'm doing so today we are on a quest I have a few things that I really need to get for the tortoise I've had him about five days now and I really 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 want to get him a better water bowl. I've already been to Petco and they didn't have anything. I already went to Pet Supplies Plus and they didn't have anything. So I'm going to go to PetSmart. I really don't prefer PetSmart. I don't shop there regularly, but I do know they have a really large selection of reptile stuff. So I'm thinking they may have a bowl that would be appropriate for the tortoise. I did look online, but with not knowing how big those bowls are in person, it's kind of hard to know which one to pick. So I'm going to go in store and look at some and see what the sizes are and then see if I find anything there. I'm also going to gonna go to Home Depot today and I thought I would take you guys with me. I really need to get a piece of slate so that he can eat off of it and also grind his nails down in his enclosure. I'm also gonna look at some wood too because I really want to upgrade his enclosure and I know that I'm gonna need to build a tortoise table so I'm gonna look at some wood different kinds and measurements and things and I probably won't show you guys that part. That's probably gonna be kind of boring. I'm also gonna take a look at flower seeds or rather weeds. I asked Patrick if he knew if they actually sold seeds like plugs or anything for weeds and he said no. No one's sells weed seeds. Funny story, last year around this time, I actually thought that I was gonna be getting a tortoise before I even ever got Koa. I was looking into getting a tortoise. I know I've talked about that a lot on my channel. So of course me being convinced that I was gonna get a tortoise about a year ago, I was like, okay, tortoises need weeds. So I of course took all these dandelions that I would find in my yard and I was like spreading them around and rubbing them in the grass, trying to spread weeds all over my yard. In retrospect, probably not a great idea, but I was like, hey, I'm getting a tortoise. I need weeds to be growing, so it was fine. Of course, Patrick, not thrilled by this, but I was like, you know what? I need weeds, so funny enough, a year later now, my yard is covered in weeds, which is great because now I do have a tortoise, and he obviously eats lots of dandelions and clover and things like that. Unfortunately, my grass is getting really tall, and I think we're gonna have to cut it soon. Patrick has been talking about cutting it for about a week now, so I know it's coming, so I think I'm gonna see if I can get some seeds for some flowers and things to grow and maybe like a little pot with some organic topsoil or something so that my tortoise can have some variations and things to eat. I don't know. We're going to go to Home Depot and we're going to look at the seeds and see if we find anything. Also need some slate. Also need a water bowl. And then we're going to look at some wood. I think that's it mostly. I mean, I'm sure we'll end up looking at other things too, but those are the main things that I'm on the hunt for today. So I thought that I would bring you guys along. I hope you enjoy. So I completely forgot that there's actually a cute little nursery in my town. So I'm actually going to stop here at this flower nursery and see if they have any hibiscus plants or seeds or anything like that. I'm sure they have a much better variety than Home Depot. So we're going to stop here first and see what they got. I think I'm going to go in and ask. So I checked here at the nursery. They didn't have anything. They said that it's still a little too early in the season. So... I guess I'm going to go to Home Depot. They may have some hibiscus there. I really want a hibiscus plant. I know tortoises love hibiscus. So on to Home Depot we go. So I'm looking for something that maybe I could use for a water dish like these, but like huge. I need something small. Like that's cute, but that's kind of too small. Goodness. I have these. But it's not very deep though. It could work though, I guess. So, so far I actually got this little pot. It was half off, which I think is like a really good deal because the bottom is like cracked, but the vase itself isn't cracked. So I thought that was cute. I also got this plastic terracotta window flower box um, because I'm gonna plant these little seeds in there. I wanted to plant these little seeds because tortoises can eat these flowers. So I'm gonna plant these in this little window box and see if I can't grow some flowers for him. I also got a piece of raw slate and then a big rock, a flat rock to put in there to trim his nails down. And then I got a cute little aloe plant. I'm gonna try to use this as his water dish since it's like pretty shallow. You know, he can't drown or anything. We'll see how that goes. I think he might like this a lot better. 
it's not super huge, so that might work. Perfect. They have hibiscus. This is what I need for the tortoise. I think I'm going to get that one right there. Okay, so I just got in the car from Home Depot. I'm exhausted. I felt like I was in there for so long. I got a new organic topsoil. I'm going to try it instead of the other one that I was using. Luckily, Home Depot did have a hibiscus tree, but it does need to be replanted into an organic topsoil. Of course, the soil they use for the tree has like those little perlite beads in there or whatever. So basically, I read that as long as you plant the plant into an organic topsoil and then let it kind of rebloom and like wait a little while until all the impurities are like out of the bloom, then it's safe to feed to your tortoise. So I'm going to be doing that. Also, I needed the organic topsoil so that I can plant some seeds to grow some flowers because Patrick is going to end up mowing down all of my weeds <laughs> that I've been feeding the tortoise, so I just needed some more. I was able to get everything I needed here at Home Depot, so I don't think we're going to have to go to the pet store, which I'm really glad about because it's getting late. I am going to use that little painter's tray for a temporary water dish until I upgrade his enclosure and then I'll be able to buy an actual tortoise dish. But I think the painter's tray is going to work perfect for now. It's deep enough to where he can fully get in there and submerge, but it's not too deep where he would like drown or anything, which he's a pretty good size. Really, you don't have to worry about that unless they're babies. Baby tortoises, obviously you'd have to worry about, but I think he's going to be good with this one. I'm just so ready to upgrade his enclosure already. I've had him five days and I'm already like, oh man, we got to go bigger. We got to get something bigger. I have a really cute idea in mind for an upgrade for his enclosure. I haven't even filmed his intro video yet. I've been trying to let him acclimate and not touch him or anything. Obviously, I've been taking him out to soak him every few days just to give him like a good 30 minute soak because that's how they get a lot of their hydration. But other than that, I haven't been touching him at all. I've showed a few clips of him eating in a couple videos so far for you guys, but that's really it. I'm kind of waiting. I wanted to wait a good week before I film an intro video to him because I know I'm going to be holding him and stuff and I just wanted him to get comfortable, you know, in the house and everything and with the environment and with me. Whenever I get home, I will show you guys everything that I bought kind of laid out and then I'll probably show you guys little bits and clips of me planting those seeds. Okay, so here's pretty much everything that I got. This is what we're working with. So I called our local reptile shop and I also called a flower shop and they both said that they said these hibiscus blooms should be safe to feed the tortoise even though they were grown with fertilizer but I'm not going to risk it. So I did some research and basically I read that as long as I don't feed him any of these blooms so, so basically just pick all these blooms off and throw them away. Basically if I replant this in an organic topsoil then wait for new fresh growth that will be safe for the tortoise. This is the organic topsoil that I got. It does say that it is safe for pets so this should be safe for the tortoise i'm really glad that i found this i got this at home depot i also got this we are going to plant some organic pansies and violas and then whenever those bloom the tortoise will be able to eat those too and it will be organic so it'll be safe so we have to get all of this off of there oh my gosh this is a mess So I have my organic topsoil in here and as you can see I got off as much of that fretting soil as I could. The roots are all exposed so I'm just going to replant these roots in organic soil and hopefully that'll work. I honestly don't know if this is going to work or not. I could have basically killed the plant but we'll see. So I got that potted and planted in some organic soil. So we're basically just going to rip all these off and wait for some new blooms. So we're going to plant some pansy seeds. Now I know nothing about gardening whatsoever. So if these don't work, I guess it's fine. But I'm going to try. Hopefully these grow and then I can give them to the tortoise. That would be great if this could work. If I'm doing any of this wrong, it's fine. It's really not a big deal. And I also planted my little aloe, so that's pretty cute. I don't really know if I'm doing this right, but it's fine. Okay guys, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for going around with me and shopping for some stuff for the tortoise. I hope this video was... 
I hope this video was enjoyable for you guys. I'm really excited to grow some of these plants out and I will obviously have lots of footage of the tortoise eating. It's so cute. I love watching him eat. So I hope that you guys enjoy that. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to subscribe down below. I will see you guys in my next video. Be kind. Bye.